I look at uranium completely different after learning what I have learned about it. To deal with Russia, invading Ukraine, having the ESG movement, all the green winnies want to not burn fossil fuels, uh, but they still want electricity. And if we're going to get our electricity from somewhere, that is the best place. Windmills, no, not, not even a chance. They don't like natural gas or oil. For some reason, natural gas is pretty clean. They hate oil and they absolutely hate coal. But we're going to get into some charts. But first, I want to tell you, this is a paid video, but I believe UEC is the best play on being leveraged to this ESG uh, green weenie energy movement. Getting in line with the uranium ETF. I'm serious. The UEC... Uh, their uranium royalty company is a pr practically an ETF on uranium. I mean, they're the only one. I really do. I own the stock, like I said. I really believe in it. And that's what I'm doing. I'm bringing you investment opportunities to profit from the green environment that we're walking into. It is the cleanest, most efficient energy. My energy bill was $700 last month. My helper's energy bill was 700 bucks. He doesn't make enough to pay a $700 energy bill. The energy is getting too expensive. And as many people that are going to start really harping on this energy thing. And what's going to happen? Just make the problem bigger. Sometimes it makes it easier to see what to do. What if your energy bill doubles? What if my energy bill goes from $700 to $1,400? As soon as everybody gets their wits about them, they're going to say, oh, crap. All right, the fun's over. We've ripped enough of peop enough people off. We're going to have to create an energy right now. We need energy right now. The lights are off. You know, we're like Cuba. They're bumbling around in the dark over there. They've got rolling blackouts because the government's corrupt. And that's kind of like what's happening here on a much smaller scale. But uh, when they figure out the lights aren't going to come on anymore, they're going to start manufacturing electricity and the cheapest and best way and the greenest way is through uranium. I want to show you a bill that the U.S. Senate is coming out with. There's actually two of them that says, well, let me, you make up your own mind. In the Senate of the United States, a bill S-3856 to prohibit the importation of uranium from Russia Russian Federation. All right, that's a great idea. Let's do that. I'm in for that. S4066, fueling our Nuclear Future Act of 2022. Accelerate the availability of commercial produced high assay low enriched uranium in the United States. That sounds like a great idea. The Department of Energy says should prioritize activities to establish a domestic high assay low enriched uranium. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, too. The department needs to make available uranium produced from inventories owned by the department for use by advanced nuclear reactors. Okay, advanced nuclear reactors. That's what's going to power the future. That's how we're going to be green, whether the green winnings like it or not. That's it. So they're, they're wanting fuel for their new energy source. And it just happens to look pretty good for investors right now. Netherlands to build two nuclear plants. This is just this is just coming out right now. It's because of Russia and doing everything they're doing. You know, they're trying to starve these guys out. Germany is considering whether to extend the life of the three main nuclear power plants. The country's economy minister said Monday in what would be an extraordinary step that comes as leaders in the Berlin grapple with the with the possibility of a Russian gas cutoff. All right. So Russia again. France. France is kicking butt. France dri derives about 70% of its electricity from nuclear energy due to longstanding policies. Yeah, unlike ours. In February 2022, France announced plans to build six new reactors and considering building a further eight. That is extremely bullish for uranium. 
Energy Strategy UK plans eight new nuclear reactors to boost production. Consumers are facing soaring energy bills after the Russian invasion of Ukraine pushed gas prices even higher. Under the government's new plans, up to 95% of the UK's electricity could come from low carbon sources by 2030. There's a lot of 2030 stuff going around. Okay, new, key points of new energy strategy. You see wind, uh, hydrogen, solar, all these are down the list. This one, nuclear, not to be confused with nuclear, says the government plans to reduce the UK's reliance on oil and gas by building as many as eight nuclear reactors, including two at Sizewell and Suffolk. Finland goes nuclear, sadly, after 40 years. They put it off for a long time. Now they regret it. I wonder if they would have regretted it more if they waited a little bit longer. <laughs> Finland goes nuclear again after energy concerns and threatens from Moscow. This is uh, UEC's website. You can go to the description. I'll link it in the comments. Come check out all this stuff because it really makes a lot of sense when you start looking at it. The Russian invasion of Ukraine. So Senators Joe Manchin, Jim Risch, they're doing the Nuclear Act of 2022, cre creates the U.S. Nuclear Fuel Security Initiative to reduce and eliminate reliance on Chinese Russian nuclear fuels. April 8, 2022. Senator Bar Barso uh, leads bill to ban Russian uranium imports. You're going to see this over and over. Congressman Pete, Republican Vincent, Harry. Uh, notice Republican, Democrat, Democrat, uh, Republican, Democrat. I mean, the, so far, it looks like this is a really good possibility. You know what I mean? It seems like, hey, this really could happen. But according to how much energy we're going to need, I figure it should be up here. My, my energy bill is 700 bucks. If we could have been doing this all along, my energy would be half that price. You know, unless, of course, we probably should denominate it in something else. Inflation's hard to, it screws everything up. But I'm just saying, you're, I would figure in here, if you go by today's prices, it should be at least 65 bucks is what I kind of figure. And if that happened, these people in at 38 bucks. I'll show that to you in a minute. They got a bunch of it. They got 5 million pounds of this stuff. They have a very diversified asset portfolio. Wyoming, Texas. I mean, there's a ton in Wyoming. Look, look at all these. Texas. Uh, that's the uranium royalty group. The only one there is. It's already there. There's nothing that needs to be done. It's just like sitting there waiting to go up. When it goes up, when the price of uranium goes up, that stuff goes up. It's like an ETF. Five million pounds warehoused uh, of uranium in the physical portfolio. There is something in Canada and there's something in Paraguay. Paraguay, I'm not sure about. Doug Casey lives there and I would love to go over there and hang out with him. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know how safe that is. It's probably just about like Canada. But that's a very small part of the portfolio. This is huge, guys. This is in the U.S. When it, now, if they nationalize that, we're all screwed. Amir, I do like Amir. He's he's really good at buying stuff cheap and selling at expensive. You should kind of follow guys like that, guys that have done it over and over and over. You know, uh, they saw this narrative back when it was stupid cheap. This guy saw he he acquires assets at a cheap price. It's really amazing to watch entrepreneurs do that. 2022 demand expected 205 million pounds. All right, this is going to be really important for all the green weenies. America's largest clean energy source. Okay, so this is nuclear power, carbon-free clean energy. This is the clean energy chart. Life cycle of carbon emissions for coal is not that great. Gas, no, looks pretty ugly. Biomass, way down. Solar, geothermal, hydropower, wind, and nuclear's way down here. 
the only low carbon energy source that provides scalable 24 7 base load power. Nuclear power equals safest form of electricity generation, injury, accident, fatalities. I guess they get hurt in the mining. Uh, oil, I guess they get hurt. Natural gas, offshore wind, nobody gets hurt out there because it doesn't work that good. Solar PV, nuclear, 0 0.01. Nobody gets hurt in nuclear. <laughs> it's so safe. Stop thinking it's not. There's some people that do. 84% agreed our nation should prepare now. 72% agreed we should definitely build more nuclear power plants in the future. It's awesome. I agree. Small modular reactors. I think that's going to be the new uh, tiny home. If they're going to produce a, a big amount of electricity in a really small area, and there'll just be a few more of them. And hopefully they'll be run by entrepreneurs and not some kind of government run crap or all enslaved but hopefully the free market will let owners u.s owners and operators have these nuclear power plants that provide a safe electricity for everybody uh, that would be a really cool goal cut down on emissions keep it in the u.s mine in the u.s build these small facilities and supply everybody power there's one more thing i'd like to bring up top shareholders UEC team holds a lot of it. The team holds the company because they believe in it, I think. BlackRock, Vanguard Group, State Street Fidelity, Northern Trust, UBS, CF Holdings, Sprott. I've been involved with Sprott Resources for years. Uh, those guys don't make very many mistakes. Uh, they're just really early, and there becomes a point where you're so early it starts to look like a mistake. <laughs> But uh, so far, I've been really impressed with those guys. They, uh, that's, what you, that's how you get wealthy. You do what the wealthy do, and you just brace for impact. You get set up, and you invest in the things the wealthy are investing in, and you just hang out. You know, assume broken clock status. <laughs> Michael Burry. That's what I'm going to do with uranium. It's a long-term play with me. I just know we got to get energy from somewhere. UEC seems to be a way to leverage that. Have an awesome, awesome day.